Today, I'm going to show you how to import reviews directly from Amazon or AliExpress to your Shopify store. There are a ton of apps that allow you to import reviews for free, and I also make sure to do this on my own stores as well. And my name is Alex. I cover all things e-com on this channel, so if this video helps you out in any way, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more. And with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so to get started, we're going to head over to the Shopify app store, and then under search apps, we're just going to type in Ali Reviews. So like I said, there's a ton of free apps available that allow you to do this, like right here, all of these, they let you import reviews directly from AliExpress or Amazon or any other similar websites where people are leaving reviews. You can just get those directly imported to your own store under those product pages and we'll show you how. So this is the one that I use on most of my stores personally, Ali Reviews. It's a, it has a really good interface, it's very easy to set up, it's very easy to use, and like I said, there's a free plan available. But since I have so many products and so many reviews imported on all of my own stores and then I want the better customer service um, for the developers of this app as well, I actually do pay the full price plan. So they have the free plan right here, this is all that you get. You get 30 reviews for pro uh, per product and then you get five products that you guys can actually import reviews for. So since I'm not limited to just five products and 30 reviews in my own store, I pay the $9.99 a month and get all of this as well. It's very worth it in my opinion, but just to get started, this is really all that you need. So we're gonna add that app to the app store and we're gonna go into Shopify and I'll show you guys how to get all this set up in just a moment. Okay, so like I said, depending on where you guys are at with this right now, you guys should just be able to choose the free plan. So click the basic, sign up for free. And then right here, there's a quick tutorial if you guys wanna learn more about this app, but I'll just show you guys the basics and how to get this set up really quick. Okay, so we're just gonna move over here to AliExpress. And like I mentioned, this app actually works for Amazon listings as well. So if you guys can find your product on Amazon, just import the reviews directly from there. But I know most of these apps allow you to import reviews from AliExpress, and that's like the most versatile thing right now in the drop shipping space so I'll just show you guys an example with that really quick so say you guys are selling phone cases in this example uh, you want to go on orders you want to find your exact product and then you'll import the reviews directly from there so I'll click this phone case listing right here and as you guys can see it has over 23,000 reviews 74,000 orders so you'll go to the top and you just want to copy the URL at the very top of your page and we're gonna go over and import that in the Shopify app right now. Okay, so we're on the dashboard of Alley Reviews and from here you'll just click Manage Reviews and I already imported a sample item on this store to get started. So you'll click Import Reviews right here on the right hand side and then you click if you're choosing from AliExpress imports or Amazon imports and then right here is where you'll paste the actual link. So you paste that link in there from the actual product listing itself. You guys can choose some options on the side right here. Do you want it to have images? Do you want it to translate any reviews that are in another language? Uh, don't import reviews that you already deleted. Should have feedback text, so like actual comments in the reviews, and then the number of reviews that you're gonna import. The minimum amount, amount of stars, so we'll choose, like we only want five star reviews right now. Um, we want images in the reviews so the customers can see what they're getting and it should have feedback text for the purpose of this example. So we'll click import and it's gonna find any reviews. Well, actually we chose for it to find 10 reviews. So it's gonna find 10 reviews with that exact criteria. And then you just click manage reviews over here on the right hand side as well. And here's all your reviews that were imported for this product. So let's go take a look at this quick sample product page and I'll show you guys where the reviews actually are and how to actually edit them. Okay, so we're here on the sample product page that I created for the purpose of this video. And as you guys can see right here underneath the title, there's the five stars based on 10 reviews of the 10 reviews that we imported. So if, if you guys will just scroll down, you guys can see the section right here where it shows the amount of, review, of reviews, the amount of stars, uh, gives the customers options to write a review. And you guys can actually go through and approve all of those first. So if you guys have like a spammer that's importing a bunch of reviews on your store that just are not legit, you guys can actually delete that and block them from leaving reviews in the future. But here's all the uh, reviews that we already imported. It looks pretty good on this product page, so I would say that we're good to go. But if you guys want to edit any of these reviews, I can actually show you how, or if you want to delete like one of the pictures that is on the review. So if you guys don't like one for some reason, I'll show you guys how to do all of that in just a moment. Okay, so we are back in this app, and say you guys just wanna edit this review right here. So you'll go over to the right-hand side, and right where the little trash button is to delete the review is a little pencil to edit the review. So you guys can just click edit. You can edit the description. You guys can actually edit the rating, which is new to me. I didn't know you could do that. 
Uh, you can remove any photos that you want on here. Uh, actually, you need to upgrade to remove the photos. Uh, you can edit the date that it was posted, the country that it was posted from, the name of the person, and actually pin that review to the top. So these are some pretty cool features that will get you guys started with importing reviews on your Shopify stores. Importing reviews is a great strategy to get started, but it's not a great long-term strategy as you're thinking long-term growth for your brand. So I just made an entire video talking about the importance of real reviews and how to actually get more customers to leave real five-star reviews on your store. I'll link that video in the description if you guys are interested in checking that out. I highly recommend to do so. But this is just how to get uh, set up and started with importing reviews from AliExpress to your store. So I hope this video made importing reviews on your store much easier. If this video helped you out in any way, consider leaving a like, sharing, or subscribing for more. I have two e-com resources in the description below for you guys to check out. Feel free to do so. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.